Hey guys, how's it going? CS back again and welcome to episode number 7 of FIFA 15 Career Mode Stars, or Potential Stars even. We'll be having a look at a couple of good players today and of course yesterday's episode included Jesse Rodriguez. So if you missed that, check it out either on the channel page or I'll leave an annotation in the bottom left hand side of your screen to take you to it. Of course if you're in the US then the early release is now available to you via EA Access. So if you do have that then definitely get downloading. Although remember, you only have 6 hours worth of gameplay over the course of the final days fantastic ggea but let's leave that to one side and let's get cracking with the potential stars shall we as you can see the first one we're having a look at today is mauro icardi from inter milan actually in team of the week week one of fifa 15 thanks to a rather extravagant performance against uh, sassuolo for inter milan at the weekend they won 7-0 in the end and uh, in fact ac won 5-0 in their corresponding game as well so plenty of goals for the milan size at the weekend icardi's base card has only gone up one from 14 14 to 15, although considering he started this season so well and the fact that he is widely renowned as uh, one of the up and coming stars in, in Serie A, I think his potential could rise perhaps past 86. He had 84 last year and uh, he's had 86, or well, I've given him 86 this year as a default, but there is no reason whatsoever if he continues to perform that A, he won't get a January upgrade and B, his potential won't increase past 86. You guys could quite possibly see him reach 88, 89 should you uh, play him enough and he's you know puts in the performances for you in FIFA for uh, 15 career mode. Now the next two players we're going to have a look at are actually two youngsters that have been much requested in the comment section over the past few videos. The first one is from Aston Villa. It's actually Jack Grealish. He uh, has put in some good performances when he has played for Villa. He hasn't played too much first team football though. Would really benefit from a loan move if possible. He's had his base card upgraded from 62 to 65 for uh, Ultimate Team for FIFA 15 this year. So he's gone from a bronze to a non-rare silver and uh, he's his potential was actually quite high anyway last year on FIFA 14 at 84. And uh, whenever I've seen him play, I've only seen him play a couple of times, we'll be honest. And I did ask for some feedback from a couple of Aston Villa fans that uh, that I know on Twitter. So uh, thanks to them for their input. But they say, and pretty much, uh, you know, back up what I thought, that he is an exciting young talent. And uh, should he get the first team football that he needs to progress his, uh, his particular skills and, uh, you know, learn more about the game, get more experience, then there's no reason why he can't grow to be a very, very handy player for Aston Villa in the Premier League. Maybe even to uh, to earn a move to one of the bigger sides in the country, or maybe even abroad, although English players don't really tend to go abroad these days, unless you're, uh, you're Eric Dyer, and then you only end up coming back to Sporting Lisbon, and, or from Sporting Lisbon to England anyway, to Tottenham. So, the third and final player we're going to have a look at today, as I get off track, is Lewis Dunk, a centre-back from Brighton. Uh, his base card has also been upgraded slightly from FIFA 14 to FIFA 15, 65 to 67. So, uh, he stays silver, but uh, has improved slightly. I've upped his... Uh, his uh, potential from 76 to 79 and uh, should he continue to have a very very good season at Brighton this year similar to last year there's no reason again why he can't get into the early 80s and uh, if you can get the the best out of him in career mode maybe even reach an 84 85 mark but there are uh, my uh, my thoughts on Jack Grealish, Lewis Dunk and Mauro Icardi. If there's any players you want me to have a look at next week whilst we build up towards FIFA 15 full release, then feel free to leave me some suggestions in the comments and I will do my best to, uh, to use as many of them as I possibly can. But that's all for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days. We had My Player Season 2 Best Bits last night, so uh, check that out if you missed it. And of course, we'll have, uh, we'll have My Player Tomorrow Season 3 Best Bits as well as a, a look at Manchester City on the demo tonight. But that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you tonight with that FIFA 15 demo gameplay.